Okay, we're going to continue along with our spatial analysis scenario. We've got now a uh, section of a digital elevation map uh, around the, the college area. And I'd like to perform some spatial analysis on the uh, elevations. So I'm going to come back up to uh, produce a contour. So let's, uh, let's start with the contour. I'm going to do a contour of the digital elevation, which is the HDR. Well, that was the entire thing. It's the DEM. We have to tell it where we want the output to be, and so we'll put that in um, the assignment 14. And we'll make this a contour map with a, maybe even a one meter between the um, levels. Remember these are in uh, in meters here. Okay, so we have now a, a pretty detailed contour map of uh, the area around the college. Uh, we may want to uh, lighten this just a little bit. Maybe change its transparency just so we can see through it and still see the roads. So we've got the roads here and the contour map uh, behind it. Change the now we have contour maps that are showing up on top of the level. And I may change the color of these. So there's you may have to play around a bit to find something that, that kind of works for you in terms of contrast. So there's an awful lot of green in there, uh, and so now there's an awful lot of gray. Um, so we may want to um, to back off a little bit. I mean, that's, that's kind of interesting, but let's back off a little on the contour. We'll call this contour 5. All right, so now uh, these look a little, a little bit less obtrusive to uh, what we had before. And we zoom in. And you got a, a little bit of contrast between the two. So it starts to become an issue with uh, how you're viewing these. Uh, so you can play with uh, color styles and so on. Uh, and just see, you know, kind of what what things work a little bit better for you or not. For Now I have a, them both on there. Now that's that's kind of a, uh, of a nice scenario. So now if I um, scroll in here. I can get a pretty good idea of uh, the slope functions here as they move around. These areas here, this is probably not a real thing. It's probably an artifact of the, the data that we have. Uh, that would actually need to be probably smoothed out in some way. Uh, but you can definitely tell uh, that you're, you're headed downhill quite a bit. And uh, if you identify these um, and strike on there as a, a line, you can see that you're at, um, it's at 91 meters. And Okay, so it's a good way to investigate and kind of get a feel for um, what the terrain is around the, around the college. Now we can visualize this uh, terrain as well. So to do that, we can uh, again go back to, to look at our, uh, some analysis that we can make. and. Uh, one of the one of the concepts is to uh, to do a hill shade. So I'm going to do a hill shade on the the DEM, and I'll again put this in our answers area. Assignment 14. And notice here's the first place that the Z factor comes in. Now the hill shade, if we scroll back a little bit, you can really get a feel for. Uh, what things look like in this? Um, there appears to be some artifacts in in the uh, in the data, but conceptually you can get a, 
a pretty good feel for for how this works and what it, it's doing is it's providing some some lighting characteristics to to show you how things would look in sunlight illuminating one side or or the other for example down here this ravine uh, the sunlight's hitting it and this is a creek bed that runs down so the sun hits this side of the creek bed but this side is in a shadow so it, it gives you kind of a an illumination uh, method for for looking at these and we'll keep going and uh, look at slope so this is going to show us where um, where things are steep and not steep and I'm going to turn the hill shade off now so uh, the slope data is in here now so in this characteristic uh, we kind of know from the the contour lines if we pull the the um, um, slope down below the lines um, you can see that where the contour lines are tight that's where where things are 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 steep so uh, if I turn those off uh, you can see that it's steep where it's white uh, and and it's really kind of not that great to look at so what I'll do with those is take the slope and look at its properties and investigate its style and you see that the style you can select uh, you know you could actually make this uh, colored if you'd want um, or uh, what we could do is just turn this around so these are the values of the slope that that would be presented so now the flat areas are are in white and the darker the steeper areas are uh, in black so we may turn the transmission of this 50% or so and so now we, we've got a, a combination between the, um, the college and, and the data so we've kind of got some way of looking through this slope data to see where where things are are, are tight for example down here right below this little pond uh, it looks like things are, are getting fairly interesting in there so if we look at the contour lines that are, are layered on top so now we've got we've got some some slope data here in combination and you can see where the the contour lines are very close together that also the uh, slope data is telling us that uh, things are things are fairly steep in there so we've taken a look at a, a few aspects of, of what we can do um, Uh, we can take a uh, relief concept here, we'll create kind of a relief map. And generate uh, automatic uh, colors. So we can see what's happening is we're going to get different colors for different um, different levels here and uh, we'll give this a try and uh, see how this looks so in there and that's uh, another way of visualization of of what's happening uh, it it may be that um, you may want these to kind of all be the same color uh, different shades of the same color as opposed to different colors but it's uh, yet again another way to uh, sort of investigate or visualize what uh, what's happening this actually looks you know fairly fairly smooth here now uh, if we put the contour lines on top uh, you can kind of see the two together uh, and how they may manifest themselves together And lastly, uh, ruggedness uh, is a kind of an interesting thing to do. This is going to tell you where it's uh, tough for uh, for walking. And 
again you can see uh, rugged rugged is white not not black so we may want to we may want to flip this over as well okay so white is easy and, and black is, is is tough so you get this a uh, little bit different uh, views of of the college and different ways of of investigating what what your uh, what you're up to and for these purposes we may uh, come back and we have a nature center on the campus and we'll overlay that and, and see how it all works together